Hi guys, so if you've been watching these vlogs for the last few weeks, you know that I've been writing this piece for Aubrey Young Musicians, and I'm flat out working on the piece at the moment, so this vlog is going to be a fairly sort of chilled out and simple vlog. And what I wanted to do is talk about something else which I did over the last couple of weeks, which is finally getting the DVDs of the children's opera produced. And this ties in with the opera project, because as I think I said, in these videos I wanted to talk a bit about Benjamin Britten and my relationship with Britten. Now I've been thinking I really want to do a kind of a proper video on my views on Britten, but I've been thinking before I do that I really want to go back and listen to some of Britten's music again, because a lot of it I haven't listened to for a long time. But doing the edit of the DVD of the opera did make me think that there's one thing I think which I really do take away from Britten, and which I think is really special, which is the idea of composing for community musicians. I've talked about this in other videos, I will put a link up here for a video about writing for community musicians. When we think of Benjamin Britten I think we often think of the big pieces, you know, the war requiem, the big operas, but one thing we maybe forget sometimes is that Britain was really interested in just writing music for the local community out here in east of England. Um, I'm in Cambridgeshire, he was in Suffolk, but similar part of the world. There are pieces like St Nicholas, Noise Flood, which are written for young musicians to perform, sometimes alongside uh, professional musicians, and they sometimes even involve the audience singing as well. And this was something that I incorporated into my children's opera. If you don't know the story of the opera, then I'll put a link here about it. Basically, the opera is about a lion moving into a monastery and being put in charge of a monastery's donkey. I want to show you a bit of a DVD now, actually. Basically, at this point in the opera, the donkey has been stolen by some bandits, and the lion has been accused by the brothers of eating the donkey. What charge do you bring against this lion? He must have eaten the donkey. And he gets kicked out of the monastery. And at this point in the opera, the action stops, and everyone stands up, and the audience sing with the whole company uh, a kind of a chorale. It's a bit like a Bach chorale, it's based on a Bach chorale, um, but with my own words, and reharmonized. And just as in the Bach Passions, the whole congregation would gather together and sing chorales, interrupting the action of the Passion, so kind of expressing compassion for Christ and that sort of thing. Um, in my opera, the action stops and the audience join together and expressing compassion for the lion. And I'm really pleased with how it came out on the video, so I want to show you that now. From the monastery you have vanished to the desert. Be patient, for the world is broad and wide. Let's stand. As I say, there's links to Britain because in pieces like St Nicholas, he also writes for the congregation to sing, and he's himself referencing Bach, the Bach chorale there. So I suppose what I'm doing is kind of referencing Bach and referencing Britain, referencing Bach. So I mean, in composing, very little is original, if anything. But I really like that low key aspect of Britain. In, in fact, the more I think about it, I think that's the thing about Britain that I really love, and something that I draw on myself. 
especially in today's world where we're all so obsessed with image, obsessed with fame, obsessed with getting the kind of the next big thing, obsessed with big projects, obsessed with sort of puffing ourselves up. I think there's a side of Britain which we could all learn from, which is actually, maybe it doesn't have to be like a huge famous thing that we're creating, maybe actually writing a piece of music that just gets performed by some kids in a local church is a great thing, and it doesn't have to be viewed by millions of people online. It doesn't have to have loads of publicity around it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about Britain at the moment. If you've enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel because I do one of these composing vlogs every Sunday night, and I will see you next Sunday.